Hey everybody, old guy jamming here. I'm going to uh, play some tones through the Blackstar HT50 MK2. Give you some uh, ch a chance to hear some different things. Playing the Wolfgang today, it pretty much likes all guitars. It prefers the higher output pickups though, but lower output pickups work great. But it is, it seems like it's a, a kind of tuned to high output pickups, EMGs and or overwounds. Not sure, but seems like it to me. Anyway, uh, I won't do a whole lot of talking on the front. I'm going to go through the cleanest of the clean, then the driven clean. Then we'll switch over for some rock, and then we'll saturate, and then we'll chug. And I'll come back at the end and tell you what I think of it. There's a lot to consider. Here we go. So two clean channels, and I prefer the less lesser driven one. And then I like to apply my own overdrive rather than relying on the overdriven channel of the amp because it's uh, just too hot, I think, for my what I do. I like a clean channel with fewer mids, a little bit mid-scooped, and uh, just a little more subtle than that higher output. And I could turn the volume down, but it still has an overly bright characteristic that really bounces off your eardrum with a punch, even when turned down. Um, but that might be to somebody's uh, liking. I don't know. But I prefer to use the less powered one and have it a little cleaner, a little softer all around. But lots of variability. The EQ works great. It really responds well to volume changes on the guitar. Really well. Probably the best amp I've ever played. 
in that regard. And I'm going to show you that here coming up on the Crunch Channel. All right. Okay, we'll go through uh, some of the crunch tones now. They're crunchy, and then they're super driven. And it's too bad there's a huge volume difference between the two channels, but there is. But that's okay. It might be okay. If you switch between the clean side and the dirty side, then you've got two voices on both to choose from, and you can build a lot of tones out of those. Uh, you don't have to switch between the saturated lead and the crunch tone on the same channel, uh, although you could, but there's a big jump in whatever you have in the effects loop as well. Uh, if that's not a big deal, that's that's okay. Uh, there's supposed to be, a, be about 6 dB, Blackstar says, 6 dB difference between the crunch and the, the, the hot crunch, uh, and you'll hear the difference right now. But first, we're gonna do some crunch tones, and then I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna put a little crunch deal rhythm in the looper and throw on the TS9 first and then the Timmy overdrive second and then the metal zone so you can see how those saturate up and it takes pedals surprisingly well but it does saturate kind of early over compress a little bit early <coughs> So that's a crunch tune with the uh, TS9, and then the Timmy Overdrive, and then the Metal Zone was last. And the crunch got, has a lot of variability on the gain. Let's turn the gain up and try a few more riffs.
Does it chug? Does it chug? So now I'm going to show you what's kind of really impressive about this. I'm going to turn that gain back down and then play with my volume control because this amp responds incredibly well. You can get about three tones out of turning your volume knob alone. <laughs> Thank you. 
that's a pretty cool thing about this amp is how well it deals with volume control. All right. Well, I'm going to give you my two cents. Check you later. In a minute. All right, <clears throat> so that's the Black Star review. So some considerations. Uh, it has very nice power handling with a 5-watt switch. 250-watt switch allows you to play very quietly, and it does sound good at a quiet volume. I don't know if you want to invest that kind of money in a practice amp, but it certainly is adequate as a practice amp, and then it rips at 50 watts. The two channels sound good. I like the way they sound. Much better than the previous uh, model of the HT, uh, which had a, a, a nasally characteristic that wasn't very good. But the cleans on this, I think, are very sparkly, nice, and clean. I prefer the American style to the British. But you can find uh, whatever tone you like. Um, the EQ is super responsive. I have my bass less than half. It's about uh, 9 o'clock. The middle's almost to the middle, but it's still backed off about 11 o'clock. And the treble was almost dimed, but it's over about 3 o'clock. And I'm playing it through a greenback, a sealed up greenback cab. And Blackstar sells these. Their cabs are, uh, they sell the combo with an open back. And there might be a good reason for that. It might uh, be tuned for uh, an open back cab versus a closed cab. I'm going to try plugging it into my Marshall open back. Uh, just use the Marshall as a cab and see how that sounds. But it sounds good through the green back, too. Um, you have a nice reverb. You can choose from a short spring or a longer hall type reverb on the back, which is nice. It has tons of outputs on the back, lots of speaker options, great effects loop, direct out, USB out. As well, I believe you can check all that on Sweetwater site or Guitar Center site. Um, great foot switch as well. Comes with channel and voice selection, which is fun. You choose which two channels you like. Choose the voices on the two channels. And then you can switch back and forth because it remembers w the one you were on last. Uh, and it'll go back to that one automatically. The lead channel doesn't take... Uh, pedals as well. You can't spike it with a, uh, a overdrive pedal. It compresses over the top, compresses to where it's muddy. But the crunch channel, that voice takes pedals reasonably well. I like it. The clean channel takes pedals great. You can get some really beautiful ambient stuff with the onboard reverb, reverb and a delay. Or uh, you add a little chorus. I added a little chorus earlier. Sounds great. And it is a black star, which is nice. One consideration. Uh, well, let's talk about does it chug. I don't think it chugs as well as a amp with more tubes. Does it do high gain? Yeah, it does a variation of high gain. But as far as chunky chug, chug, chug and being tight on the bottom, I don't think it does it as well as the EVH or even the Marshall. And I think the reason is because it's lacking the tubes in the gain structure i don't know i'm not an expert on that but uh that's probably well, that's what i think is going on but think about revalving this compared to the igniter the igniter has what are we looking at eight three preamp and a pi tube plus two six l6 and two el 34 84s that's eight tubes versus four tubes in this uh, and that's considerable all right so maintenance i think on the black star is going to be a lot less make sure you have a service center close by if you're thinking about it because it does weigh a bunch but um super happy with it different enough um but the i think it has a sweet spot for rock and clean anything in between rock and clean it does blues surprisingly well that just slightly driven tone Sounds really good through the Black Star, as opposed to some other amps where it sounds like there's paper ripping in a very lightly driven tone. You can it sounds like your cone is busted or something. In the decay, um, there's just a a decay of t paper ripping, and this doesn't have that, which makes playing slightly driven 
tones, really fun. Um, very nice. Um, and again, I got this as a scratching dent, and it was great, excellent, excellent deal. I had to be able to uh, sell it for almost what I bought it for for years. Anyway, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. I'm going to uh, take next, I'm going to take the chassis out of this and roll the camera around inside to see what we're looking at. Um, just for fun, because I wonder, because of the way it reacts, when it's on the higher gain, it wants to compress on its own, much less take a pedal. I'm wondering if the bias is set a little hot. So I'd like to get in and check the bias on it, and if I can, turn it down a bit, like I did with the Marshall. I really liked that tone. I put low gain tubes in my igniter, I put a lower gain tube in the EVH, and that seems to be what I like across the board, is taking these amps and just cranking the gain down a little bit, and it makes the tone that much fuller and gritty and pure without it getting uh, compressed to the point where it starts to get mushy. Just turn the gain down some. All right, this is Old Guy Out. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe, like, etc., etc. Next time we'll get into this with a camera. Have a good week.